Hey, Princess Anne Middle School students. This is Mr. Cullen here. We're going to talk a little bit about fossils. I got my little fossil exploration hat on. So uh, let's uh, learn a little bit more. So, you know, when we're talking about fossils, you know, we, we think of bones, we think of dinosaur bones. Well, these are actual bones here. These aren't fossils. So uh, there's uh, probably part of a, a cow here, deer, uh, you know, the jawbone of a, of a cow. You can see the specialized teeth there. We talk about adaptations. Those are designed for chewing. Don't forget snakes. They are made of bones. So please know they are vertebrates. So, I mean, wow, the perfect example of vertebrate. A skull with nothing but a whole backbone to it. So just keep in mind, and even with shells, um, we're going to see preserved specimens from that are a lot older than these. But again, these aren't these aren't fossils. These are actual real bones. So over here, well, now we're getting into some fossils. So here's a, an ammonite, one of the aquatic uh, creatures. There, there would be a type of mollusk in here, like a squid, that would have lived in this shell. Now here's something interesting. So I pulled a tooth out of the jawbone here. So there's a, a tooth from a, a cow. So this is an actual tooth, bone tooth, but here's a fossilized tooth. Now this could be from like a, a mastodon or something. You see how the teeth are actually, you know, have been worn away. Right? But this is a fossil example. Some fossils, you know, you start looking, you need a magnifying lens. Let's see how this will work here. See, look at that. Looks like a little, almost like a little starfish, or I think almost like a, like a sand dollar. There's several of those in here. You wouldn't really notice it unless you got a little hand lens like this out. There's an imprint of a, of a type of shell. Coral. So this is fossilized coral. Most of the examples I have are, are from sea organisms. Here's a whole bunch of conglomerations of, of fossils here. Uh, mostly a lot of the scallop shells. Little different examples. And they're almost like cemented together in that sense. That's how these were found. You know, these were found, these weren't found on the coast. These were found in, in Kentucky. Well, that, that's a state that doesn't even be, that's not even on the coast. So that means at some time there had to have been a sea there so that part of the United States was actually under a shallow sea. So this one, it, you don't really see the, uh, the scallop shells for this. If you turn it over, these have actually absorbed iron. They're actually, you know, this is quite heavy too. So this actually had absorbed metal into it, you know, as a, as a mineral. Again, a nice conglomeration of different clams here. Fossilized. Oh, here's some neat things. This is petrified wood. So these were trees that, you know, at, at the time they were alive, they were probably uh, pushed over, maybe a volcanic eruption, covered in ash, uh, took a long time to uh, break down. And of course, over that time, they absorbed minerals inside. Remember, when we're talking about most of the fossils, we're talking about rocks, all right, not, not bone. And as so you can see, even pieces of bark that are still visible. So lots of neat examples of petrified wood. Some of the more interesting organisms though, like these are the trilobites. These things can be like 350 million years old. So let me see if I can zoom in a little. See the, look at the eye. It's like a compound insect eye. So now these, of course, you know, went extinct pretty early on. Um, there are several, lots of different kinds of species of these actually, but um, really neat examples. So we can see where, you know, later on you get things like, you know, we have our roly polies around, the pill bugs. Trilobites could do the same thing. They could curl themselves up. Kind of a neat adaptation for those early organisms. I have all kinds of different shells. Uh, all types of fossils. Here's a neat one. I don't think there's anything around today that are like these. It's almost like one of our 
slipper clams. Of course, we have our uh, state fossil. So uh, it is a one of the scallops. Uh, I got a little more information over here. I got a couple drawers that are pretty similar. So there we go. Good little information. Our official state fossil. Jeffersonius was named after Thomas Jefferson. So, a couple more examples. Uh, so ammonites. This is an ammonite that has been polished. So, um, and a lot of times they'll have all kinds of other little minerals in them. So here's one that's not polished and small. And again, all kinds of varying sizes. I've seen some huge ammonites before. Here's one nice little imprint of one. That's pretty, pretty cool. Another little piece of uh, petrified wood here. Some petrified uh, whale bone. Some examples of that. Hey, shark's teeth. Check it out. Eocene. Yeah, 55.8 to 33.9 million years old. So this is the best I could do for a megalodon. I got a half a half a tooth in there. Pretty large shark. You can see there's still the serrated edges on it. So all kinds of species of prehistoric sharks that are no longer around. Another trilobite here, different different species. A little small one. It's one of the first fossils I actually had as a kid. <laughs> Some more ammonites here. The nice look at the coloration in there almost like a different shells and, and I've seen pictures of ammonites that have gold in them things like that so this one's pretty neat see some of them have these patterns to them this one's been polished so. oyster shells you know very very flat uh, not much coloration to them that that whole flattened out part for that um, more shark's teeth. Each each one's probably a different species for a lot of these. Clams. Fossilized. Hey, here's some amber. Got some insects there. You know, like how they got the DNA from Jurassic Park. So. Yeah, that's always cool. And this amber says 25 million years old. Pretty old. Got some other neat things here. Just more variety of, of, of sea life. Of course, this compares like the modern to the fossil. So here's some fossilized clam. Here's our modern day. That's what we're used to. Of course, scallops, man, you know, size, the size of these. This is just a half of a shell here, some other ones. And there were lots of different species of them, just like we have today. But look how much more colorful, you know, when we, we actually have our scallops that we can find here. All kinds of nice colors. So, so this is our modern day scallops. Not a whole lot of changes. We have some relatives of, of like sand dollars. And here's of course our modern day. There's lots of different species of sand dollars too. Here's some of our fossilized coral. So these are fossil examples. And then of course, our modern day. Horseshoe crabs, you know the little thing with horseshoe crab, it's like considered a living fossil. Basically unchanged for about 450 million years. They say the extinct trilobites that I showed you earlier are a distant relative. So interesting, interesting. Uh, shells, okay, so we got, you know, our modern ones, you know, with nice color. All right, but then we've got, you know, very similar looking as fossils. So, so 
but not a whole whole lot of changes for this. So and then barnacles. So barnacles, even even back in prehistoric times, grow on shells. Here's modern day. This is on oyster shell. There's another example of one of those fossilized oysters. Modern day version. You're gonna see, you know, much more color, of course. Some more examples of fossilized barnacles as compared to the modern day. All right, so let's do a little, little fossil digging here. So uh, check this out. So, you know, scientists, you know, paleontologists, they'd go along and they'd find certain rocks that they think, you know, would, would hold fossils. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, shale beds and um, a, lot of, a lot of good areas in the U.S. You know, the Dakotas are known for a good place to search for fossils, you know. So they, you know, they would kind of tap sometimes on the rocks, you know. Get a little, get a little split in there, and sometimes you get lucky. So we'd have what's called here, you know, this is like the cast. That would be the mold. But you would just look at that like a regular rock. Here's one. I had some rocks delivered to my yard. And um, so I was kind of just kind of tossing things around a little bit. Check that out. I'm going to spray a little water here. Bring it out a little bit. Yeah, it's all kinds of... Yeah, there's a nice mold right there. There's a cast here. There's the mold, the imprint. So you can see them over here, same thing. Yeah, see, that's the exciting part about finding some fossils. Same thing here. Check this out. Like an early form of a leaf. Well, so that wraps up our little fossil tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit more. And uh, yeah, let's see how you do with the plate posit on it.